back to my channel. My name is Kristen and today I'm going to be sharing with you my step-by-step -step process on how I design a room from start to finish. A lot of you guys see the room makeovers on my channel and I think you really just see kind of it all come together at the end. So for those of you that want a little bit more detail on how it all kind of comes together, this video is definitely for you. I hope it gives you some ideas on how you can start a room makeover or renovation and complete it from start to finish in an organized kind of fashion. This is what works for me. I find it fun and exciting and I always know what the space is going to look like before I even finish it. So it's a really good way of kind of laying everything out and making sure that it works out. So if you enjoy watching, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and hit that like button and make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss the upcoming videos. I do room makeovers, home decor, and DIY content so make sure you guys are here for it. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. Okay so the first thing I like to do before I even start anything is get inspired. I like being very excited about the projects that I'm working on and to feel excited about them I need to be inspired and I need a vision on what's going to be happening. Sometimes I look at a space and I know right away what I want it to look like, what colors, all of that. Sometimes I'm completely lost. So when I'm lost and I don't have a vision yet, I go searching for my vision. So I head to Pinterest, obviously like everybody else, search Pinterest you know, don't even pin anything at first. I'm just searching, seeing what's going on in the world, seeing what's trending, what color palettes are nice, getting inspired. And then I also like to get some inspiration from going shopping. And this is maybe what I would call window shopping. It's not like actually buying things yet. It's just searching the stores and seeing what's happening. So that's when I can see fabrics that are trending, color palettes, specific furniture pieces, like little details, shapes, everything. Another thing I like to do while I'm shopping is take pictures of different items that I might eventually want. That way I can kind of curate a photo gallery on my phone of specific pieces that I like at the store. I also, just as a little detail, take my pictures with my location on. That way when I'm going back through things and seeing where was that piece that I liked, I can see which store I was at, I can see what city I was in and go back there and get it. So this first step is just supposed to be fun. I'm just doing a little research on what I could get, different styles, that type of thing. No pressure in finding specific pieces yet. It's just all about getting inspired. So once I've done some research and I have a better idea of what I'm looking for and I feel inspired, I actually go back onto Pinterest and start pinning specific photos of textures, colors, products, uh, rooms, anything that will really speak to what I want this design to look like. Let me know down below where you get your inspiration from. Is it Pinterest, Instagram, shopping like me? What is it for you? Once I'm inspired, I kind of have a vision for what I want. I start analyzing the space and measuring it. This is a super important part because if you don't measure your space or don't really know all the different elements in the room, Things could go wrong, things could not fit, things could not work out. So I always check where the light fixtures are, where the windows are, the doors, measuring wall sizes, ceiling heights, measuring out how big a rug can be, where the outlets are, how much light comes in, all of that stuff. So make sure you really analyze your space, see what you're working with, see what you can accentuate or what you don't want to accentuate, and keep all those details written down. So I usually like to write it all down in a notepad, kind of roughly draw out measurements, and then I can put it into a system to create a floor plan. So I create a floor plan, drop my furniture pieces in that would potentially go in the space and play around with the layout. So there's different sites that let you do this. You can put in your measurements, put in doors, and it will create a really easy floor plan for you. So this is where I can really see the plan from above. I can see what's going to fit in here how much room I have, different furniture layouts. You can play around with everything without you know, doing it in real life. So I highly recommend using floor plans, really planning out your space to make sure that everything goes smoothly. Then onto the next step, I've done my research, I've drawn out my floor plan, I know what can fit and what can't in this space. Then I start creating my mood board. And I don't know if I would call this a mood board or more of like a product board, but I create a board on Photoshop of all the different specific pieces that I want to put in that space. So if I'm working with a room where we're keeping existing furniture, I put pictures of the existing furniture in. I bring images of products that I want to get from online sites, lighting fixtures, rugs, decor pieces, plants. I put everything on this board that I want to put in the space. That way I can kind of see all the different 
furniture pieces and decor items that I've picked and see if they even work together. I would say this is my favorite or most important part of my room makeover process because this is where I can really play around with my design ideas. This allows me to bring in pieces, take out pieces if it's not working, and see what everything's gonna look like together on a blank page. So usually when I see the mood board complete, I'm like, okay, we're ready to go. This is gonna look good. I am excited. The next thing I do to really get the makeover going is go shopping again. But this time I go out with the plan of buying the specific pieces that are on my board. So whether that be furniture pieces, decor items, rugs, lighting fixtures, or finding something at a thrift store that I'm gonna DIY, this is when I go out and collect everything that I need. So I usually do my shopping from biggest item to smallest item. I start with furniture, rugs, paint colors. Then I move on to little details like lighting, drapes, decor, wall art, frames, like all the little tiny details. It's usually those little finishing touches that sometimes you look at and you're like, do I need that? Sometimes you do, and it makes a huge difference and really brings the design together. But the shopping process usually takes me the longest because I'm either waiting on things to be delivered or I'm just scouring every single store to find the perfect item so that everything that I'm gonna need for that space is ready to go. Usually by this point, I've already decided on a paint color as well, or even just a paint color idea. I go to the store and just like everybody else, grab a bunch of paint chips, put them on my wall, stare at them for a while until I figure out what's gonna work. Sometimes I even bring my paint chips to the store and kind of see what they're gonna look like with different pieces that I'm thinking about getting. So it's just a whole process. That's usually why you guys see a lot of shopping videos on my channel because it is such a huge part of the design process for me. I love taking you guys into the store with me to, so you can see my thought process when picking different items or not picking items. If you guys want to see more of that shopping process, I'll link the videos down below so you guys can get to them easily. Then we move on to makeover day and this is what I call makeover day one. It's usually painting day. It's usually the day that I do like the biggest Thing that's gonna make the biggest difference. So for me, that's usually painting the walls, painting furniture, maybe installing tiles, whatever it is for that makeover. So then I move on to bringing in furniture or building furniture that needs to be built and really creating a good layout in the space. At that point, it's feeling like a brand new room. I bring in a rug, ground all the furniture, it's feeling amazing and I finish it off with all the decor. So the decorating process for me is super fun. It's really when the room comes together. I'm balancing textures, putting in finishing touches, bringing all the color schemes together with details and that always makes the world of a difference. Sometimes when you just decide to paint a room and get new furniture, it feels bare and it doesn't feel like what you thought it might. So make sure you guys decorate, make sure you bring in those details and make your space feel like your own. I've created many videos on how to decorate your home so I'll leave those linked down below giving you do's and don'ts and things you should definitely be thinking about to really achieve a beautiful look. So at that point the room is finally complete and everything worked out because of all the planning beforehand. So I love when the room turns out looking exactly like the mood board I created because it really makes me feel like we've achieved the design that we're going after and really brought it to life. If you guys do something totally different for your design process let me know down below. Let me know down below if you're somebody that just wings it and goes for it or are you a super planner to make sure that everything goes smoothly? I've done so many makeovers over the years and I always follow this method so if you guys want to see those come to life I will link my makeover videos down below as well. There's bathroom makeovers, bedroom makeovers, guest rooms, living rooms, dining rooms, everything. So hopefully there's something there that will inspire you for your home. If you enjoyed watching make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and hit that like button and make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss the upcoming videos. Click that red subscribe button down below and make sure you guys turn my notifications all the way on so you don't miss the upcoming content. Love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!